Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang Norton's Theorem. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, yung Norton's Theorem, parang counterpart lang din siya ng Thevenin's Theorem. Kasi, pwede din natin ma-convert ang isang complicated linear two-terminal circuit sa isang simpler circuit using Norton's Theorem. But this time, instead na open circuit voltage yung nahanapin natin dun sa terminal na consider sa circuit, this time, using Norton's Theorem, hanapin naman natin yung short circuit current across dun sa terminals na consider natin. At the same time, Pareho lang silang ng pareho lang ng RTH yung Thevenin equivalent resistance, yung Norton resistance or yung equivalent resistance nung circuit across dun sa terminals na kino-consider natin. So somewhat related yung Thevenin sa Nortons. Now let's define Norton's theorem. So it states that a linear two terminal circuit can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a current source IN in parallel with the resistor Rn, where In is the short circuit current through the terminals and Rn is the input or equivalent resistance at the terminals when the independent sources are turned off. So, just like Thevenin's theorem, so halimbawa raw, meron kang linear two-terminal circuit, okay? Kahit ano tong circuit na to, either complicated or simple circuit, Tapos meron kang nakaload na RL across let's say terminals A and B. Therefore, pwede nating magamit yung Norton's theorem para ma-convert itong linear to terminal circuit into equivalent uh, single current source IN with a resistor parallel to the current source which is yung RN or yung Norton's uh, resistance. Etong RN, siya rin yung equivalent resistance dun sa Thevenin theorem across dun sa terminals A at B. Okay, so therefore, ito na equivalent circuit natin, parang parallel resistors that have current source across them. So kapag inanalyze natin yung circuit na to, pwede natin gamitin yung current divider para mahanap yung current doon sa RL. So, pag ginawa natin yun, ito yung magiging formula. So, IL is equal to the conductance of RL over the sum of the conductances of RN and RL times dun sa Norton current na IN. Or simply, RN over RN plus RL times IN. Okay? And then, para makuha naman yung voltage siya cross RL, ohms na lang. So, since nakuha na natin yung IL, multiply lang natin yun dun sa value nung RL. Okay? So ngayon, punta naman tayo sa steps kung paano hanapin yung Norton current at yung Norton resistance. Okay? Okay, step 1. Find the Norton or equivalent resistance Rn across the terminals by turning off all the independent source, shorting voltage source, and opening current source. So just like dun sa Thevenin's theorem kung paano natin hinanap yung RTH, Tatanggalin natin yung resistor or yung load across dun sa terminal na consider natin. And then, hahanapin natin across dun yung Norton's resistance or yung equivalent resistance ng circuit. Tapos, i-off natin lahat ng independent sources. So, kapag voltage source nga, isi-short natin. Tapos, kapag current source, i-open natin. Next step, find the Norton or short circuit current IN through the terminals by using circuit analysis techniques you like. So, this time, short naman natin yung load across doon sa terminal na consider natin. So, parang magiging ano siya, wire na lang siya. And then, hanapin natin yung current na magpa-flow doon sa short circuit terminal na yon using any circuit analysis techniques na natutunan natin. So, by the way, naka-on lahat ng independent sources kapag ginawa natin yun, ha? Okay. Last step, connect RN in parallel with the load, say RL, across IN and apply the formula above to solve for the voltage or current of the load. Okay, so parang ito na yun. Kapag nahanap na daw natin yung IN tsaka yung RN, iko-connect lang natin this way yung equivalent Norton circuit. Okay? 
So parang parallel resistors nga with a current source across them. Then tsaka natin apply yung mga formula na binigay ko dito. Yung current divider formula tsaka yung Ohm's law. Okay? Okay, to illustrate Norton's theorem, let's solve an example. So find the Norton equivalent circuit of the circuit below at terminals of load RL and solve for IL and VL. So hanapin daw natin yung Norton equivalent circuit at terminals daw nung RL. So parang ito. Let's say itong terminals A tsaka B. Okay? Then hanapin natin yung current flowing dun sa load RL and then yung voltage siya cross it. Okay, ang first step, hanapin natin yung Norton resistance or yung equivalent resistance sa cross terminals A at B. So para gawin yon, tatanggalin muna natin itong RL na 1 ohm and then i-off natin yung mga independent sources. So itong 2 ohm current source, i-open natin and then itong 12 volt source, i-short natin. Okay, so let's try to do that. So, ma-open si 2 ohm current source. Then, ma-short si 12 volt source. And then, kopyahin lang natin kung ano yung mga given resistors. Okay? So, we have 4 ohms, 8 ohms, 5 ohms, and then 8 ohms. Okay, and then ito yung terminals A tsaka B. Okay, so therefore, dito natin nahanapin yung Norton resistance or equivalent resistance. So, kung napansin nyo, yung kinalabasang circuit natin ay merong series na tatlong resistors na nakaparallel dito sa 5 ohm resistor. So, therefore, Rn is equal to 8 ohms plus 4 ohms plus 8 ohms parallel siya sa 5 ohms. Okay, so, simplify natin. 8 plus 4 plus 8 is 20 ohms parallel sa 5 ohms. Okay? Then, yung formula for parallel resistors ay multiply natin yung dalawang resistors. So, 20 ohms times 5 ohms over yung sum nila. So, 20 ohms plus 5 ohms. So, we have 100 over 25 or 4 ohms. So, therefore, Norton resistance is 4 ohms. So, mamaya gagamitin natin yan pag dinraw natin yung equivalent Norton circuit. Okay, yung next step, hanapin naman natin yung short circuit current doon sa terminal A tsaka B. So, tatanggalin muna natin itong RL. Okay? And then, isi-short natin itong terminals A tsaka B. Base dun sa step 2. Okay? And then, nahanapin natin yung short circuit current o yung Norton current dito sa terminal A tsaka B. Okay? Ngayon, napansin nyo, nung ginawa natin to, nung sinort natin yung terminals A tsaka B, naging parallel yung wire na to dito sa 5 ohm resistor. So, therefore, para mahanap yung equivalent resistance nyan, basically, magiging zero yan. Kasi, di ba, ang formula ay 0 ohm times 5 ohm over 0 ohm plus 5 ohm, right? Parallel resistor. So, effectively, 0 ohm yan. Kasi kapag war, ba 0 yung resistance or mababa, right? So, ngayon, pwede pa natin i-redraw yung circuit as this na lang. So, tatanggalin na natin to. So, parang ganito na yung circuit natin. Okay? So, ngayon, hanapin natin itong IN. So, it depende uli sa atin kung anong circuit analysis techniques yung gagamitin natin para mas mapadali yung paghanap ng IN. So, since hinahanap natin na IN, ang pinaka-suggested na technique ay mesh analysis. Okay? Let's assign current dun sa dalawang loop. So, itong loop 1, let's say I1, and then itong loop 2, let's say I2. Okay? So, alam nyo naman na yung mesh analysis, ba So, May video na ako about doon. So, let's try to solve this circuit. So, kung mapapansin nyo, itong I2, parang siya na yung magiging equivalent Norton current kasi equal sila, ba? And then, same sila ng direction. So, at loop 1, kung mapapansin nyo, itong I1, siya siya equal, ba dito sa 2 amp current source kasi siya lang naman yung uh, current source dun sa loop 1. So, therefore, I1 is equal to 2 amp. 
Dito na lang tayo magki-KVL dito sa second loop. So, summation of voltage is equal to 0 at loop 2. Okay, passive sign convention ulit. So, itong mga resistor ay plus minus, plus minus. Okay, plus minus. Passive sign convention kung saan pumasok yung, kung saan polarity pumasok yung current natin na ito yun magiging sign ng voltage doon sa loop natin. So, dito muna tayo sa mga resistor. So, sum up natin itong mga resistor. So, we have 8 plus 4 plus 8 is 20. So, positive 20 sila kasi papasok yung current sa positive nila. So, 20 I2. And then, itong 12 volt source. So, negative 12. Kasi pumasok yung current I2 sa negative. And then, meron, sa, meron common resistor yung loop 1 tsaka loop 2. ba itong... 4 ohm. So, therefore, meron dapat tayong minus 4I1 as opposed dun sa current I2. So, equal 0. So, ngayon, pwede natin i-substitute yung I1 na 2 amp dito sa 4I1. So, magiging 20I2 minus 12 minus 4 times 2 equal 0. So, simplifying, we have 20I2 minus 12 minus 4 times 2 is 8 is equal to 0. Then, 20I2 minus 12 minus 8 is negative. 20 is equal to 0. So, therefore, 20I2 is equal to transpose 20. Then, I2 is equal to divide both sides by 20 is 1 amp. So, therefore, ito na yung Norton current natin. Kasi, according nga dito sa figure, equal sila at same direction. So, ito yung IN. Okay, 1 amp. So, drawing na natin yung Norton Equivalent Circuit. So, we have 1 Amp IN. Okay. And then, parallel doon ay yung RN natin na 4 Ohm. And then, kukonek uli natin doon sa terminal AB yung load natin. Yung RL natin na 1 Ohm. Okay, so, pwede na natin i-analyze yung circuit. So, di ba, ang pinapahanap ay yung current doon sa load, RL, tsaka yung voltage siya cross it. So, para mahanap mo na yung current doon sa IL, so, IL is equal to current divider formula. So, yung conductance doon sa RL is 1 over 1 over sum ng conductances ng dalawa, yung RL tsaka RN. So, 1 over 1 plus 1 over 4 times yung IN or yung current source na 1 amp. So, we have 1 over 1 plus 1 over 4 times 1 is, using calculator na lang, we have 4 fifths or 0 0.8 amps. Okay? Now, para mahanap naman yung voltage across RL, ohms law na lang. So, VL is equal to IL times RL. Okay, so yung IL natin ay yung 0 0.8 amps times yung RL natin ay 1 ohm lang. So, we have 0 0.8 volt then. Okay? So, therefore, nasolve na natin yung current at voltage doon sa RL using Norton's theorem. Okay, so para ma-verify natin yung nakuha nating values ng voltage sa current dun sa RL using Norton's theorem. Let's try to simulate the circuit. So, pag sinek natin yung ammeter, masasukat natin ay yon 799.998 milliampere or 0 0.8 amps. Okay? Tapos, yung voltage sya cross RL naman, so yon 799.998 millivolt then or 0 0.8 volt. So, therefore, tama yung na-compute natin using Norton's theorem. Now, I have a challenge or practice problem sa inyo. So, find the Norton equivalent circuit of the circuit below at terminals AB and find the voltage across 10 ohm and current passing through it. So, this time, hanapin nyo naman daw yung Norton equivalent across terminals AB para sa circuit na to. So, apply nyo yung mga steps na ginawa natin sa pag-solve ng example ko kanina and then after nyo ma- hanap yung Norton equivalent circuit saka nyo hanapin yung voltage daw saka current don sa 10 ohm resistor.
Okay, so that's it for the topic Norton Sturem. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.